autosomal recessive mutations are more common than autosomal dominant mutations. The reason for this is that a heterozygote or a recessive mutation has the normal phenotype, and so they do not have adverse consequences for carrying the mutant allele, but they can still pass this on to the next generation. In contrast, a dominant mutation will affect the heterozygote. If this mutation has a serious adverse effect, this would mean that the individual who carries the mutation and expresses it would be less likely to survive to adulthood and less likely to have children. So therefore, the mutation would be less likely to become common, given that it was harder to inherit. Many of the dominant mutations which cause disorders which concern us are things which affect the heterozygote later in life. So for example, Alzheimer's disorder can be caused by a number of dominant mutations. By the time an individual realizes that they are expressing the mutant phenotype, they have already had children and passed the gene for the disorder on to the next generation. As a result, natural selection acts more quickly on dominant mutations which affect individuals earlier in life. And so recessive mutations are more common when they cause serious genetic disorders than dominant mutations. Those dominant mutations which are common in our population tend to affect heterozygotes later in life after they have already passed on the gene.